welcome back to my channel. So it's been like two weeks since I posted a video. Um, don't have any good skills again, but here we are again with another Disney related video. This video I've been kind of not scared to put up, but because I want to work for Disney, I don't want to like talk bad about the company, but these are just experiences that happened to me. Um, so like n not anything that was Disney's fault. It was just mean guests, you know, because when they, they expect perfection when they go to a Disney park and we're all humans, like we're not robots. So um, these are just things that happened to me in my seven months working for the Disney company. And you know, these are all my opinions, none of Disney, I might say it again. I don't want to get in trouble or you know not ever be able to work for Disney again so these are just experiences that happened to me so my first one was on my first program because technically I did two I worked at Beer Guest and then I transferred to attractions for um, Figment so yeah the first one was um, I was working on the bridge um, if you watch my Beer Guest video it was the arrival and arrival you just check people in you know make sure they have a reservation um just because quick service you still had a re reservation because it was such a busy restaurant but a lot of people they were so confused by that they're like wait this is quick service why do i need a reservation so they'd come up and be like you know why can i come in it's like well you have to have a reservation people book this you know, place six months in advance. It's like fast passes. You can book um, reservations. Yeah, it's sometimes you can get lucky and get day of or like day before, but usually you have to. You know, especially like a busy period. Like it's gonna be hard to get a reservation at Beer Guest. So I had a guest come up, and you know, it started off. They were just really upset because they really wanted to come in. You know. They had like already planned this and that they were going to come here and eat and take pictures and all that. And I was like, sorry, we are all full. We, you had to have booked a reservation. And they were so upset because they're like, why do I need a reservation if this is quick service? And I explained to them like, well, this is a busy restaurant and this is the only quick service location like at all the Disney parks that you have to have a reservation for because it's such a busy restaurant and they just weren't like no this is so stupid and they threw their menus like and they're like they walked away and this happened to a couple of my other bogger friends too like people just get so upset and sometimes like we have availability for walk-ins but we didn't have that time so like even if they wouldn't have made a scene um and like threw the menus down and got like super super rude with me I couldn't have let them in if I wanted to like it's like I'm just doing my job like stop being so rude so yeah that that happened like not the menus part but like that happened all the time where like we didn't have any availability people came up thinking they could just walk in didn't have to have a reservation and they get all mad talk to they wanted to talk to my supervisor and it was just a grand old time I mean I don't like to turn guests away like sometimes they think no I just want to be rude to them and like not give them magical moments but like sometimes I can't help it like I'm just doing my job um the next story um was when I went I transferred over to attractions at Epcot at Figment. Um, here's two stories about when I worked there. Um, the first one, so Figment closes at seven o'clock. All the like other rides will close at nine and then the fireworks are right after. Well, um, after you close all the, like you close the ride down, um, everyone else leaves except you and another person because um when the fireworks are over there's someone with a rope blocking 
like where the world showcase is and then where you could go to like the land and the, the um, imagination pavilion and nemo and that's blocked off so everyone goes around and then goes outside of the park so there's that person that stays with you and then there's a person um that stands in front of the attraction so like here's the imagination pavilion and then there's like two pathways one person stands here and one person stands there and then once it's nine o'clock this person can leave and that person goes to you know stand so no one comes to um ride in the rides because you can't and they have to make sure they clear everything out so i was standing there you know if any guests came to us i'd be like sorry uh you know figment had to go to bed early you know just trying to you know do that show and she was not having it and her kid let me just tell you this her kid was zonked out he was sleeping like not waking up and she was so mad because you know the figment wasn't open and she's like we drove all this way from like california or whatever to ride figment because it's my kid's favorite ride your kids asleep they don't care and she was so mad she's like can't you just start the ride again i'm like no we can't do that there's only two of us you need like at least four people to start that ride and i can't start that ride by myself so yeah they just they got really rude and then they stormed off but yeah the thing is like figment it's not a popular attraction and they do this with the land as well they close at seven so like the land and figment are the only two rides that close at seven so like yeah they were just so mad your supervisor will hear about this and like i'm not gonna get in trouble like i can't open the ride i'm sorry um it should have came earlier <laughs> Yeah, there's just like people like that, like they come, like, it's not even, you know, Figment, I loved working there, I loved the people, but it's just not like the, you know, grandest attraction that they have at Walt Disney World. So it's like, you're not missing anything. Um, so yeah, there's that story. And then my last story, um, this was a fun one. So I was out, you know, in the front after we closed, it was like, I want to say 7.15, like 15 minutes after we had closed. And um, this guy comes up with a bag and he's like, so I have this toy, like I can only exchange it here. Can I go do it? I'm like, well, um, we just closed. You can go check to see if the gift shop is still open. So he went and he's like, oh, they're closed. It's like, can you open it? And we can just do this exchange and like, I work in attractions I don't work the merchandise like I can't I can't help you like literally that is not my jurisdiction like I can't help you and he got so mad he's like again that that card oh we flew all the way from you know Connecticut and you like ruined our vacation I love being a vacation ruiner like <laughs> thanks like that's what I wanted that's why I, I, I go to work is to ruin vacations and um, yeah, he was just so mad because it was like a, a figment toy that was only at the Imagination Pavilion gift shop. And he was just so mad. He's like, oh, and we're leaving tomorrow, so it's not like we can even come back. And it's just like, that wasn't anything I could have done. Like, I don't work at the gift shop. I can't open the gift shop so we can do an exchange. Like... Guests are so nice, you know, and it's, they, they want, like, basically they want you to break rules for them, and it's like, sorry, can't, can't do everything for you, like, yeah. So those are my rude guest stories. I probably have a bunch of others, but I can't think of any right now, so if I do, I'll have a part two to this, but, um, just three stories for you. Uh, I hope to have some more videos up soon. I have my scuba certification this weekend. I'm filming this on 
Monday the 24th and my certification is um, this weekend I don't know what day um, but it's this Saturday I'm gonna get certified I'm gonna record both days and that'll be like a part one part two type vlog depending on what type of footage I get um, if I can get it down to at least 20 minutes I won't do part one part two but if it's long we could get a lot of footage it's just gonna be two vlogs um, and then I want to do that series that I keep on talking about with the fast passes. I just, I didn't want to start that like before my, um, before my school certification because I didn't want to be a gap in t between them. So that's why I'm doing this video. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I, like I said, I was just scared because I do want to work for Disney, um, part-time, full-time in the future. So I didn't want this to, you know, make that not happen. But I looked at like other YouTubers that like work for Disney and like they haven't gotten in trouble and I don't think Disney would ever see this. So, you know, and I can always take it down if it's an issue. So here we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, get ready for my scooter. Scuba, scuba certification vlog is coming up and I'm going to Florida on the 5th going to Universal like three days and then going to Disney for two days with my friend Sarah so I am so excited I get to see Illuminations one last time I'm not ready I'm probably gonna ball my eyes out but I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>